It's fine. You might as well know. I'm with child. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 real-life pregnancies that were written into TV shows. You're pregnant? With a baby? Yeah. Why didn't I use a condom? He didn't use a condom. He only has one ball, and I have a lazy ovary. In what twisted world does that create a baby? You'll read it in Winchell that with are in a limb to our family tree. For this list, we're looking at the shows that mirrored life when they incorporated the pregnancies of their stars into their on-screen stories. Did we miss an on-screen pregnancy you were expecting to see? Tell us about it in the comments. Number 10. Emily Deschanel – Bones One of the main draws of Bones was the undeniable chemistry between Emily Deschanel's Dr. Temperance Brennan and David Boreanaz's FBI agent Seely Booth. We always knew where their will-they-or-won't-they dance was inevitably leading, but fate stepped in a little earlier than the writers may have intended. I'm… <laughs> I'm pregnant. Go to the ends of the earth for you. You're the father. Rather than try to work around Deschanel's real-life pregnancy, the show incorporated it into the plot and used it as the impetus to finally make things official between Bones and Booth. Look at us. <laughs> We're a family. In the seventh season, the characters would work to adapt to couple life and parenting. Okay, work with me on this, okay, Bones? You have to learn how to compromise. I can compromise. Emily Deschanel said that it was a pretty accurate reflection of her own adjustment to motherhood. The dynamic worked so well that her second pregnancy was written into the show as well. More time with the bruiser battle axe flyer here. <laughs> Especially more time with you. Aww. Number 9. Gillian Anderson, The X-Files Hollywood has not always been a friendly place for expectant mothers. When Gillian Anderson became pregnant at the end of The X-Files' first season, studio executives pressured showrunner Chris Carter to recast her role. Scully's a problem much larger problem than you described." To his credit, Carter supported Anderson. Instead, the show adopted a hybrid strategy for working with her condition. Spleen or pancreas? Stomach. I was just about to start on it. In the first half of the second season, the classic costuming and camera tricks were used to hide Anderson's pregnancy. In the course of all this, Scully, working separately from Mulder, becomes the victim of an abduction and experimentation. This bombshell reveal would both use and explain Anderson's pregnancy in-universe. Who did this to her? Sir. I want to see her admission forms. Who did this to her? I want to see what best have been done. Listen, if you're with them, if you're hiding anything, I swear I will do anything. Whatever it takes, I'll find out what they did to her. We have to love this creative, mythology-building solution to the challenge. Number 8. Allison Hannigan – How I Met Your Mother when Hannigan's first pregnancy wasn't a natural fit for her character, the show addressed the matter with the humor you might expect. And the new champion with 29 hot dogs, Lily the Belly Aldrin! Her second baby came around at the perfect time, though. With Marshall and Lily also poised to start a family, it was a no-brainer to write Hannigan's real pregnancy into the series. We're having a baby. What, for real? For real. Oh! Watching Lily and Marshall move, and move again, prepare for parenthood, and eventually welcome their son felt like the most organic progression in the world for the longtime couple. Of course, the show had no trouble bringing all kinds of goofy fun to these situations as well. That's all you, baby. No, I'll be four shots in with no food. In nine months, I'll be pushing a pumpkin-headed Erickson baby out of my hoo-ha. I think Papa can manage a few extra cocktails. Well played. It's so nice when your personal and professional life can line up this neatly. Number 7. Jennifer Goodwin – Once Upon a Time Talk about life imitating art. Stars Jennifer Goodwin and Josh Dallas met when they were cast opposite each other as Once Upon a Time's paragons of true love, Snow White and Prince Charming. You found me. Did you ever doubt I would? The glass coffin gave me pause. But you never have to worry, I will always find you. It wasn't long before the actors had fallen for one another in real life. They became engaged in 2013, and the 2014 birth of their first child was written into the show as well. We're going to do this the way we do everything. Together. Now, how did I forget that? Now, come on. We have a nursery to build. With Snow and Charming recently reunited after decades under an evil curse, Goodwin and Dallas's real-life start to their family was a natural fit for their on-screen characters. The arrival of our new son 
has been the cause of great joy for our family. And we hope you can share in it as we name him for a hero. Luckily, the parallels did have a few limits. They avoided the part about having to put their firstborn into a magical wardrobe and send them to a different dimension. Number 6. Cynthia Nixon, Sex and the City When Sarah Jessica Parker became pregnant, the show fell back on old standbys to hide that fact. However, when it came to actress Cynthia Nixon, her pregnancy was incorporated into her character Miranda's storyline. I took three EPT tests and I'm coming from my doctor, which is why I called you to meet me way down here on the corner of 23rd and I'm in hell. Not exactly the maternal type, Miranda hadn't been too deeply shaken by the news of her lazy ovary in season two. It was a big shock when she found herself pregnant several seasons later after having unprotected sex with Steve. Why didn't I use a condom? He didn't use a condom. He only has one ball, and I have a lazy ovary. In what twisted world does that create a baby? The pregnancy and subsequent birth of her son Brady proved to be a huge character growth event for Miranda. He's not hungry. He's not teething. He just wants to scream. I'm doing everything I can, but I can't please him. If he was 35, this is when we would break up." As she adapted to the changes in her life, viewers got to enjoy the process of seeing Miranda discover new sides to the identity we already loved. Number 5. Jennifer Garner, alias To be honest, the life of super spy Sidney Bristow already sounds plenty challenging. However, when actress Jennifer Garner discovered she was expecting her first child in 2005, the series writers made the choice to throw the expectant mom curveball at her on-screen counterpart as well. I didn't think this is what I wanted. I mean, bringing a baby into this world that is so messed up, I just, I just assumed that, that I'd wait, that we'd wait. For? For, for things to be safe, or at least safer. For Sydney, this meant taking a step back from the action to train newbie Rachel Gibson. Not that her life got any less dramatic, of course. There was still plenty to keep her on her toes with the death and later resurrection of her lover Michael Vaughn. I don't know how we do this anymore. We do it the way we've always done it. The final season included the birth of their daughter. Though we never got to see Sydney juggle domesticity with the spy life, these two parents seem like they can handle just about anything. That's what you say every time you show up on my doorstep. The next thing you know, I'm jumping over canals in three-inch heels while napalm explodes around me. Yes, that's how I define fun. Number 4. Chelsea Peretti, Brooklyn Nine-Nine After deciding to hide star Melissa Fumero's pregnancy, the cop comedy went a different route after Peretti announced her own expectant status following season three. It's fine. You might as well know. I'm with child. Gina Linetti isn't exactly a character who seems like the most traditional maternal figure. That is where the fun comes in, naturally. In one of the most inspired choices of the plotline, the show initially left the identity of Gina's baby daddy undisclosed. At the end of season four, it was revealed to be one of Boyle's cousins. Fine. I'll tell you who the baby's father is, but you have to be chill. I will be so chill. The baby daddy is a Boyle cousin. Woo! It's a Boyle! Woo! Inspired though that choice was, it was nothing compared to the revelation of Ryan Phillippe in the role of Milton Boyle. If it's a girl, how about the Enigma? Oh my god, I already thought of that. And then if it's a boy, it could just be the, the Enigma. enigma. <laughs> Number 3. Jenna Fisher, The Office Though Pam Beasley's first pregnancy was on screen only, her second was written into season 8 to accommodate the birth of Fisher's own first baby. It is a boy, we found out early. Much different the second time around. Rather than just let it play out as a typical pregnancy plotline, The Office made this into an opportunity for some classic hijinks. The decision was made to make Angela Martin an expectant mom as well, and to kick off a rivalry between the two women. Isn't it amazing the difference in our sizes? Well, I am a few months ahead of you. Their escalating feud was on par with the kinds of shenanigans we'd come to know and love at Dunder Mifflin. It all culminated with Angela and Pam even choosing the same name. Philip? Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, but don't, don't say anything, okay? It's after my grandfather. Philip is the name that we're using. It's after my favorite cat. Oh, wow, funny. It's after my grandfather. It just goes to show that motherhood does not make a lady go soft. Number 2. Lisa Kudrow, Friends There are certainly benefits to playing quirky characters. Namely, the amount of latitude they give writers when it comes to coming up with creative solutions. When Lisa Kudrow was pregnant, Friends brought in Phoebe's brother Frank with an unusual request. And they say that their, that their only chance to have a baby is that if they take my sperm, her egg, and put it together in a dish, and then 
put it into another girl, so we were wondering if you could be the girl that we could put it into. Most people wouldn't be up for the demands of surrogacy, but Phoebe is definitely not most people. She embraces the challenge and eventually learns that she's expecting triplets. So in a few months, I'm gonna have three full-grown babies just walking around inside me? <laughs> oh, oh, and it's gonna be like one of those log rides when they just come shooting out. Ironically, this forced the show to pad out Kudrow's costumes to make it look like she was carrying more than one baby. Not only did the writers work smoothly around her off-screen life, but they also used the opportunity to give Kudrow one of her best scenes ever. Well, if you're gonna cry... Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Charisma Carpenter, Angel. This weird plotline was not exactly the best example of how to incorporate a pregnancy. But if this is the speech about how the worst is behind us, you may want to save it for later. Candace King, The Vampire Diaries. To be honest, we're still not exactly sure how this one works. The babies, they're here. Where? Huh? Floating in a raft in the Pacific Ocean somewhere? Look at the map. Your spell didn't work. They're not on the map, Caroline. They're inside of you. Bethany Joy Lens, One Tree Hill. It just happened to line up perfectly with Haley Scott's arc. What is it? I'm pregnant. I think it's gonna be a girl. Vanessa Morgan, Riverdale. This development promises more intrigue in the future. Who's the dad, can I ask? You can, but I'm not gonna answer you. It's, it's a secret, just for now. America Ferrera, Superstore. Well, that's one way to put an obstacle between a couple. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? With a, a baby? Sorry, obviously, that's, um, uh, <laughs> Who? Uh, it's uh, Adam. Oh, yeah, Adam. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Lucille Ball. I love Lucy. The birth of a child is a milestone for any couple. But in this case, it was an event of actual historical significance. As ridiculous as it sounds, in the early days of television, network executives considered the idea of a pregnant woman on screen to be vulgar. Even the word pregnant was deemed too scandalous. Hey, Lucy, hmm. wait a minute. You don't suppose... I don't suppose what? You don't suppose you're gonna have a baby? Oh, of course not. <laughs> Nevertheless, when sitcom legend Lucille Ball was expecting her first child, the revolutionary decision was made to write it into the show. You'll read it in Winchell, that went out in the limb to our family tree. And the plotline was a huge hit. Viewers identified with Lucy's journey to motherhood on and off screen. It turns out the cultural ground was fertile for more realistic depictions of life, and Lucy was just the lady to break that barrier. And it's only because of little Ricky that I want to get my break in show business. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.